What I'd like to look at today is how easy it is to create a suitable template for low content publishing or LCP and that's what I'll call the template LCP publishing. You can create this template for book interiors. I'm not going to worry about covers we may do that at a later stage but covers you can apply in KDP itself or you can build covers with Canva or any of a multitude of options. So let's see where we start. Now I've got Publisher open. Affinity Publisher, you can see it there, About Publisher, and that's it. You can, you can get Publisher from on the internet or the App Store or even um, the Windows Store. So let's start this off. We have Master Pages and we have Ordinary Pages. But there's nothing in either of them yet. There's the pages just happened down there. Now I'm going to create a template suitable for 34 pages. Now KDP has a minimum number of pages, which is 20. You can't do less than 20 pages on KDP on the online publishing platform. So let's start with 34. That's a nice page. It'll have a front cover inside, the flyleaf cover, and three pages for notes right at the back. And I'm going to create music staves interiors. But let's start with our template first. So we go File, New, and in there we've got a whole raft of ready-made templates. These are the print ones. There's templates there. No, I don't want any of those. They're ones I've made. Let's just go to Print. And here, because I want to make these books 8.5 by 11, and I know that's a size that's, uh, that um, KDP has by default, and it's US letter, so it's very common in the US. That's the standard size sheet of paper that goes through your printer, 8.5 by 11. So, there's the letter size name, and this is the one we'll use. We might even end up making a preset out of this, so that we can come back to it at any time. But there it is in inches, it's in portrait, any images that I put in will be embedded. The number of pages is 34, because I put that in just before I came to do this, so it's remembered it. Default master, so it will have a default master page. And the facing pages, that is, when it displays over here, it will have left and right, left and right, left and right pages. Facing pages. They're arranged horizontally, and we start on the right. So page one is the first page on the right. Now this says <coughs> color format RGB. Now all printing in print presses is done in CMYK. So we'll just change that to CMYK. You'll note that up the top that changed to the word custom from letter. But that's okay. We don't need to worry about that. Include the margins. Now the margins on the page, this is an interior page. Do we want one inch margins? That one inch sounds a fairly wide margin to me, but we can adjust that later. So at the moment, I turned on the anchor point so that one adjustment in here will change everything. There's one inch margins and 1.25 at the bottom. You normally have a wider margin at the bottom. Will I change those? Now let's leave them and see where they go. But for KDP, you certainly have to have bleed. So we'll put 0 0.125 in there. Now because the anchor is on, the outer, bottom, top and inner sides all have bleed of 125. But important point to remember, there's the word inner tells you that that's the inner edge of the page. That's the page where the gutter will be, or the binder, if you like. So we don't need a bleed line there, because it won't be cut. So let's just unanchor those, and make that zero. You see, when, you, when you've done that, it doesn't change the other ones, because I haven't got the anchor on. Now we're ready to create it, but they're slightly different settings than the letter that comes default with the thing. So we can create, 
by going up the top, a custom, and there it puts it in the My Presets. There it is there. Let's rename that to Low Content Publishing Master. That'll do. Then it's always remembered. There we go. Low Content Master. But it still says unnamed. That's because you've just got to click on there. and Click on that. That shows up there. Just check everything's right. Embedded 34 pages. Facing pages, horizontal right, CMYK, don't want transparent background. Sometimes KDP gets fussy about transparent backgrounds. Include margins, they'll do for the time being because the margins don't really matter in a lot of cases, but they help you as guidelines for where you're putting your material. There's your bleed lines, and KDP won't let you upload a PDF file unless you have bleed in there. Well, they do. They do let you, but they'll complain. OK, let's create our template. And there it is. Now, what have we got there? We've got, scroll it down, we've got 34 blank pages. There's page one, right there. Now, there's the master page. The master page is really important for this exercise. But what we want is two master pages. So one master page will control page numbers and the other master page will control pages with no page numbers like page one for example so let's go ahead and create add a master page page print and it's called master b facing pages same size same same size same back channel if you like Let's just hide those pages there for the moment while we work on this. Now, master page A, double click on that to make sure you've got it selected. Put in frame text tool. Put in a frame text down the bottom here. Now, I'll just draw a little frame text here. This is how easy it really is. Doesn't have to be anything fancy. And in the frame text tool, document text, insert a field and a page number. So text, insert, fields, page number. And just down here, you can see a little hash symbol. Well, it's no good on the edge. What we want that to do is to be centered. Now it's centered. So we've got page number on side the side. Let's just touch that move tool up the top left so we're not accidentally typing anything and that's exactly centered now command C will copy that and com and command V will repaste it so there's a copy sitting on top of the original Let's just move the copy by holding the mouse key down dragging it across and there he is centered so there's a page number there and a page number there. And there are no pages in there at the moment. Let's just go up there. Now we're going to save this. Save as LCP Master. There we go. So now our document is saved as an LCP Master. Now, how do we know that those page numbers are working? Go right down to the bottom left-hand side, and the pages are hidden there. Now, we'll go to Page. Remember, that's a master. And these pages, master page right-hand side, you can see. This page is controlled by the master page A at the moment. Let's double-click on it. And there's page 1, page 2, page 3, and so on. Let's go back to page 1. And that's the master page. You can see the page numbers there. Now anything you put in there will go into all of those pages. Now let's have a look at this side. Master page B. Master B. There are no page numbers in there. And all those fields are blank. So just remember that for the moment. Now we're back at master page 
A or master A, we've saved LCP master, and we think, how can I populate? Now I've got to go and find, oh, and I'm very lucky with music because it's all the same on every page. So we go down here, make sure we've got number one selected. Now I need <coughs> something I created previously in Word. Now Word's obviously the commercial version, but there are lots of other Word lookalikes out there that are free. And a lot of the material you use on low content books can be reproduced using Word and then exported um, exported to a PDF. Now there's one there for example. You can see that there, that's an affinity document. Where's all my PDF documents? There we go. Let's do an, uh, what's nice? A base tab stave. There we go. Base tab and stave. Now I created that in Word, which is not there at the moment. It's in a different directory. But there it is. It's a PDF document because from Word I exported it to PDF. Now this is fairly important, this one. Don't forget it. Right click on that and open with, don't just drop it into your existing folder. Open it with Affinity Publisher. Open the PDF file. It will tell you if there's any missing fonts and so on. Now, favor editable text. If there's editable text in there, it favors it. The color space is CMYK and the group lines of text into text frames, which is good. And all the fonts used by this document are available. Well, there are fonts actually, those little squiggly lines come with from fonts. Now let's have a look. We'll open this. You sign profile. Now there's a little symbol down there where it, that file came from. We'll just delete that. And save the document. And there's one already there, so let's just save that. Now what we have, you can see, we're off our master page at the moment, but let's just highlight that and you think, oh, look at all these curves. That's because a PDF file is actually a postscript file. So I've just highlighted all the layers in it, because everything in there is a curve. And that's good, because it means you can expand it or reduce it in size later. Now I want to make that one group so it's easy to deal with. So on the Mac it's Command G and there's our group. On the Windows that's probably Control C but I couldn't, uh, I can't run up the Windows one at the same time. It's not possible. But that makes it easy to deal with. So you can see I've got that there. One little group, just Command C, copies it now. Now I go over to back to my LCP master and in here control V and that just puts that into place. Let's do another control V and there it is on top of the other one but hold the mouse key down and drag it across. Take it up a little bit so it's well within the boundaries. Go back to this one group just make sure that it's go back to this one level with the top and you can see they are now they're one inch margins there so we're kind of squeezing this in but because of what it is I want to squeeze it into the margin so you can see exactly where everything is in place. And there's that one there. Let's bring that up there. And you can see it's in line with the other one because it turns red right across the page. See that? 
it snaps to it. If you want that snapping on, make sure that there is on. Snapping, and it will snap to the lines. There we go, the green line for the vertical is in place. Same with this one, bring this across. Green lines in place in the vertical. And there we go. Now, let's just make sure we've got that by saving it. Don't worry about all the blue lines and things you can see. They don't print. They'll go away. That's just referring to the, the parts of it. Now, what we've got here, now you can see this is the real bonus of this. Because that's the master page, and the master page applies to all the pages we've got down there, anything you put in the master page, ta-da, appears in all the other pages. And there we go. However, what we want is we don't want music in the front page there. I want a page title there. This is the inner page title of your book. So I can go to that master A. I can go to there, right click on that. You can see it's blue highlight, right click on it. And I can apply a master page. Now, master page I'll apply is master B. And it's only to that page. Click on OK. And there it is. There's nothing on that page. Let's go right down to the bottom because what I want to do is select 32, 33 and 34 and do the same thing. Apply master pages, specified pages, 32, 33, 34. Replace whatever's in there on those specified pages but replace it with master B. Easy, click OK. And it thinks about it for a second, and there we have it. Nothing on those two pages. We're back to page one, back to page two. And what's the first thing you see? Problem number one. Well, not a problem, but here's where we go. Page is, it is actually physically page 2, but we don't want numbering to start with page 2. We want numbering to start with page 1. So let's go up to Document, go to Section Manager, and we have a section there, 1 to 34. It's the first section. So let's add another one. That's very greyed out there, but that's up to Sarif, I guess. Add a section. They could make it a little brighter so it's easier to see. Now, section begins on page 2, where I first clicked. Page 2 to 34. We don't want to continue page numbering. We want to restart page numbering at 1. Start on page 2. And you can see already it's changed to number 1 down there. We just close that. And that's a section manager that's there at any time. You can change those. So now there is page 1, there is page 2, and so on down the page. There's no page number there because that's applied master B. You can see master B is applied there. There's no page numbers down here because master B is applied to that page and master B is applied to that page. Let's go back up the top. Now, what we've got in here is a blank page, but we want to put a cover page there. Now, I've got lots of other, lots of other covers of these done, so let's open one up, and I can do a bit of a shortcut here. I think I did this one before. No, that's not the one I want. Let's just open a file. We'll open this one. There's the first page. You can see that's one called Music Manuscript Treble Large. Now what I want to do, you can see there's the layers over there. 
copy all the layers, copy the layers, go back to, let me close that, go back to our LCP master right there, page one, you can see it's got the grey surround and paste. Just paste it in. So I've cut it out from another one, but this is a master. You won't have to do this again. There's our three layers controlling music manuscript, but it's not a treble large. What is it? I forgot what I called it. <laughs> okay, open recent. Guitar, tab and stave. Was it? Bass tab and stave. And there's five staves per page. Music manuscript. Let's just go back to that. Drag that over so it's dead in line. That one's already dead in line and that one's, well it should be. Yep, there we go. Dead in line. That's all we want. Now, down to the bottom. Why did I leave those pages blank? They're actually fillers to account for the fact that um, KDP sometimes adds and removes pages. So I haven't put them in that one yet. We're still on LCP master. Tratatello font. Why don't we just copy that? Copy. Go right down to the bottom. I'm doing this the long way around. You can see this, obviously. You can tell I'm doing it the long way around. Now. Leave that one there. Delete that one. Manuscript, delete that one. Tritello large, there we go. Treble large, but what we're going to do with that is call it Notes. Easy peasy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Now we want notes there. And control V, then drag it across and we want notes there. That's dead in line with the one behind it. Go to the next page. Control V again and there's notes nicely there. Let's just save that. There's not only your LCP master, but that's your complete interior. And you can do that with almost anything. Of course you can put individual images in there and if you have a document with 34 images in it already then you just load it in here and it populates all these pages. If you have something that's the same throughout the document like this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 then you just load it in there and it populates automatically all the other pages. How easy can that be? Now we've saved it. What we want to do is export it for upload to 
um, upload to KDP. Now, I don't want to worry about pre-flight. That'll tell me things are out of line and stuff like that. At this point, I'm not worried. Include the bleed. Preview export when complete. Now, this is important. When you export it, don't export all spreads. Export all pages. See that? Export all pages. It's just a standard PDF print version. Nothing fancy. All pages. Export. LCP master. And I'll put it in the folder music. Well, I've been dealing with these. And there's the preview. There's the end notes. Now what you might like to do is put other stuff in here, like this book was put together by certain people. So let's go down here. In the last page, open recent. No, the open recent one's not working real well for me, is it? Let's just open one because I've got too much stuff filed up there. We're still in the music directory. There's music manuscript treble AF pub. Now I know in this one, this is just being lazy, so I don't have to type it all again. Well, I do have to type it all again because that's the one I just opened. <laughs> It's the one I just opened and it didn't have it in either, did it? Let's see if it's in this one. And there it is. That's what I'm after. That's right on the last page. I'll put that up there. Put that there. Put that there and move that to there. There we go. Too easy. Oops, magic mouse it floats this thing all over the place. Now, save that file. There's our LCP master saved and it's slightly updated. And you can see that one there that I created. Music Manuscript Treble Large doesn't have any of that stuff at the end. So I'll go back to this one later, copy and paste it, and that job will be done. There we go. Let's export that again. Export. Open Preflight and see what happens. Overflowing text frame. Overflowing text frame. Spelling mistake. Well, that's right. It's not a spelling mistake because it's part of the web file, web URL. Overflowing text frame, overflowing text frame. I'm not worried about overflowing text frames. Preflight, pages, and there we go. File. Export, ignore and continue. Remember all pages, not all spreads, all pages. And that's got the updated pages in it. LCP master, replace the other one that's there. And there it is, it's the last page. Second last page, and there we go page 30, so you've got 30 pages all the way down there from the manuscript. How easy is that? Lovely. Now when you want to, this is your master, when you want to create something else you pull up your master File, save as, give it a new name, and 
my next LCP book. How very original. If I want to save it in music again, no, I don't. Low content publications will do. So I'll just stick it in there, right in the base directory of that. Now it's called My Next LCP Book, and you can go to the master page. See as I untoggle those, the way they go. Just leaves you, well, you actually will delete those. That's just showing you that they've disappeared. Group, delete. Now, you've still got a title page. Because you used it as a master, you've still got the page numbering, which starts on page one, on page two, actually, with page one showing. That's just what you want. So all you've got to do is change your title and your notes at the end. You can add pages, remove pages, whatever you like. There we go. I hope you've enjoyed that. I won't show you the part where you upload this to KDP and select your own cover um, because that's really not in this section. Hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.